Good morning, Duke. Good morning, baby. Good morning, baby. Hey, baby. Good morning, Duke. Good morning, Dukey Duke. Yeah, you good morning. Yeah. Yeah, you good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing this morning? I hope y'all all get your coffee. Got our coffee this morning. Hey, it's Mike in the night. Mike in the night cup. I got my cups, Mike in the night. Uh, I'm drinking chocolate coffee this morning. So, there's a couple things I wanted to address. Uh, I went and I bought some picante sauce at the Dollar General store a couple of days ago. And I went last night to take it out and use it with some chips. Well, the picante sauce has expired. So, I would like to say that maybe it was a mistake, but I bought two jars of it and they both expired. So, I want y'all to know that this is now going on. So when you go to the grocery store, please check the dates on the can. Um, I also noticed that a can of corn I bought had a double stamp on the expiration date or the best buy date. It was, it was like double stamped on the top of it. Uh, you know, the can is fine. So it, it's still going up in my preps. I'll probably use it this week. But I wanted y'all to know that so that you're checking your food when you're buying it from the store and not just pulling it off the shelf and putting it in your cart and walking away. Uh, I don't know where this food is coming from. Maybe it was coming off the container ships that have been stuck out at port for six, seven months. I, I don't know, okay? Uh, it could be just a, a mistake on the, the staff's part at putting out old pallets of food that they had in the back. I, ha I have no idea, okay? Um, but, yeah, this is going on. And so I wanted to warn you this morning of that. And also to tell you that I'm hearing reports on uh, various prepper channels that their coffee situation down in South America is very bad, okay? And it's, it's so bad to the point that they're talking about they're going to have to replant some of the coffee plants be, just because of the weather and, and, and uh, natural catastrophes they've had in those areas. So, just so you know, if they replant Arakaba plants, that's the coffee plants, the most common, um, it takes three years before that plant starts producing. So, just expect a shortage of coffee products over the next year or two. I mean, this is not something that is just suddenly... Oh, well, we get through a good growing season, it'll be back. Uh, no. Okay, like I said, if they replant them now, it will take three years for those plants to start producing. Now, they might be able to save some, you know. Uh, I don't know. I'm just telling you what I've heard on some prepper channels. Uh Lastly, yes, my chickens are doing fine, and I've been sitting here diagramming out my chicken coop, because, you know, you always have to have, like, a plan. I see now I'm going to put a wall with a vent. See the little vent? That's on the plain wall, just so they have air, okay? And then I'm going to do a double door. And the reason I'm going to do a double door is I saw on one chicken coop design that they opened the double door and were able to just sweep everything into the wheelbarrow. And then they could just take the whole wheelbarrow 
and, and um, take it to the compost pile. And then, of course, I have my egg box. And I'm only going to put two nesting boxes because I don't think, with six chickens, I don't think I need more than two. It, it just depends on how much wood I have. Uh, if I put two, I might end up putting three, but I'm not going to put any more than that. I, I don't think I'm going to need any more than three. And that's that's what I'm doing this morning. I mean, I just woke up. I'm drinking my coffee. And I have, uh, here's a little trick for chocolate coffee. If you didn't know, uh, take a little Nesquik uh, chocolate powder like you would make chocolate milk. And put it in your coffee and you have chocolate coffee. Or you could take a part of a Hershey bar. And drop that in and melt it and you have Hershey's chocolate coffee. Um, yeah. Coffee's good. Everybody's still half asleep this morning. Here's the dog. Cat's over there snoozing in her chair. I don't know what's with this cat. She loves to stay up underneath the table like that. She's just weird, okay? She's just weird. And as you can tell, I got a pile here that's, uh, I'm going to, uh, that's another project I have for my shed, is I'm going to take all this stuff out, all, all this stuff here out, and put it in the big shed out there. When I get the big shed cleaned out, and, and shelving units and stuff, uh, put in the shed. Now, I did get the, I did get the pallet wood so I can do a little bit in there and, and uh, so we're going to be uh, doing that off and on. But the first things first is the chicken coop and then uh, and then, then we'll work on the shed. So um, I just came on just to share with you about the expired food. Uh, that's ridiculous. Okay, so with that, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. And uh, remember, everybody, be, be, be nice to each other. Bye, sickle.